Buying mittens. The cold winter has finally come from the north to the forest where a family of fox lives. One morning, a baby fox was about to get out of the den. Oh! The baby fox screamed, and he rolled back to his mother while covering his eyes. Mama, something's pierced my eyes. Please take it out. Hurry, hurry! The mother fox was shocked, and she quickly removed the baby fox's hands. But nothing was piercing his eyes. It was actually the reflected sunlight on the snow, which had piled up during the night. Since the baby fox had never seen snow, he thought something was piercing his eyes. Later on, the baby fox went out to play. The baby fox was running around in the snow, which was as soft as cotton. The powder snow splashed like a spray, and a small rainbow appeared briefly. All of a sudden, there was some loud banging and sliding sounds heard from behind. Then, the snow that looked like breadcrumbs had covered his head. The baby fox was blown over and ran away, tumbling. The snow was sliding down from the branches of a fir tree. There was still snow dropping in between the branches, like a thread of white silk. After a while, the baby fox came back to the den. Mama, my hands are cold. They sting. The baby fox showed his reddened, wet hands to his mother. The mother fox covered his hands with her own hands and blew a warm breath. It's okay, dear. Just leave them like this, and they'll soon be warm. Although the mother fox said so, she felt sorry if her dearest child gets chillblains. So she thought of going to town at night to buy a pair of mittens that would suit his hands. The dark, dark night has come to cover the field and the forest, as if a wrapping cloth was spread over it. But the snow was so white that its whiteness was still noticeable, no matter how far the darkness had extended. The mother fox and the baby fox left the den. On their way, some lights began to be more apparent, little by little. Mama. Are there stars in such a low place? They are not the stars, the mother fox said. But she suddenly stopped walking. As she saw the lights of the town, she remembered the old days when she went there with her friend and being persistently chased by the humans. Mama, what are you doing? Let's go. Even though the baby fox urged his mother, her feet couldn't move at all. Then, the mother fox decided to let him go to the town alone. Okay, give me one hand, dear. The mother fox tightly held the baby fox's hand. In a moment, his hand changed into a cute little hand of a human child. This is weird, Mama. What is this? That's a human hand. Now listen, dear. When you get to the town, look for the house with a signboard of a hat. When you find it, knock on the door and say good evening. By doing so, the human inside will slightly open the door. Then, hold out your human hand and say, "I would like to buy mittens that will suit this hand." 
Don't you dare show the fox's hand. The mother fox insisted. Why? Humans won't sell mittens to you if they know you are a fox. Moreover, they will catch you and put you into a cage. Humans are very scary. Hmm. The mother fox let the baby fox grab the two copper coins into his hand. The lights of the town were shining like the stars in red, yellow, and green. The baby fox was walking in the field covered with snow towards the lights. Then, the baby fox arrived at the town. The houses along the street already had their doors closed. Although there were various signs, such as bicycle and glasses, the baby fox was not sure of what they were because it was his first time coming to a town. The baby fox finally found the hatter. The signboard of a big, black silk hat was hung and lit by the blue light, just like his mother said. The baby fox knocked on the door. Good evening. In a short while, the door was slightly opened. The light leaked out and extended over the snow on the street. The baby fox was so surprised with the brightness of the light that he mistakenly held out the fox's hand into the open space of the door instead of his human hand. I would like to have a pair of mittens that will suit this hand. The hatter was surprised. It was a fox's hand. The fox had asked him for a pair of mittens. The hatter thought that maybe the fox came to buy mittens with money made from leaves, so... Please pay me first, said the hatter. The copper coins given by the baby fox were hit together for a couple of times. There were some nice clinking sounds. Once he assured that the money was real, he took out the wool mittens and a children's size from the display shelf and handed them over to the baby fox. The baby fox thanked the hatter and went back the way he came from. Mama said such things, but humans aren't scary at all. Even though I showed him the wrong hand by mistake, nothing happened. Then the baby fox wondered if he could have a look to see what humans are like. While he was passing below the window of a house, he heard a human singing a song. What a beautiful, gentle voice it was. The baby fox thought that it must have been a human mother's voice. This was because his mother also patted him while singing in such a gentle voice when he was going to bed. Then he heard a human child's voice. Mother, on such a cold night, the baby fox in the forest might be saying, It's cold! It's cold! The baby fox in the forest is probably trying to sleep in a den, listening to its mother singing a song. Okay, it's time to sleep, love. Let's see who will sleep first, the baby fox in the forest or you. When the baby fox heard it, he suddenly missed his mother. So he rushed to the place where his mother was waiting. The mother fox was shaking and anxiously waiting for the baby fox, wondering if he would come back anytime soon. So when the baby fox came back safely, she held him into her warm chest. She was so happy that she could cry. The two foxes headed back towards the forest.
As the moon came out, the fox's fur shined in silver color, and their footprints were casting shadows in cobalt blue. Mama, humans aren't scary at all. Why is that? I showed my actual hand by mistake, but the hatter didn't catch me. He gave me such a warm pair of mittens like this, said the baby fox. He clapped both of his hands together, covered with the mittens. The mother fox shouted, Oh my goodness! She was shocked, but she was muttering, Are humans really okay? Are humans really okay? Okay?